I've spotted something really, really rare, and I just have to tell you about it. Was it a UFO? Nope. Was it a Sasquatch? Guess again. I've actually spotted an EcoFit van. You might remember that this is the Ontario-based company that the Alberta NDP hired for $21.5 million on the backs of taxpayers to screw in free light bulbs. Well, I received some complaints that nobody was showing up to install these so-called free products, but I can tell you that they're finally out and about. In their brand new Nissan NV200 vans, yeah, so I saw this one done up in fancy decals and everything parked in my neighborhood last week. The government would love for us to believe these vehicles are free, but they're about as free as that 21.5 million they're taking from us to fund this entire thing. A base model is actually 25 grand. Remember when I told you about how freedom of information documents disclosed about 8 million of what that 21.5 was being spent on, including uniforms for employees and all sorts of added costs for recycling and stuff? Well, that 8 million includes costs for mileage, insurance, and company vehicles. That's a third of the total cost to run this program, and it includes brand spanking new vehicles. And I'm not sure how much they spent in total on the vans because I contacted the Ministry of Energy, but they didn't get back to me. I'll definitely update you if they do though. But of course we can count on the NDP to offer up the best of the best for their out of province friends, especially when you're paying for it. Any other private company would have to foot the bill for dressing and transporting their employees. But that doesn't happen when you sign a contract with Rachel Notley. She's got control of the taxpayer purse and it's an all-inclusive deal. Do you think the hundreds of thousands of out-of-work oil and gas workers could afford a brand new van? I'm looking through all these specs too and these things also aren't electric. And what happened to all of us laggards walking or taking a bus? The NDP say they created 70 jobs by implementing this program, but they've also created a hell of a lot more greenhouse gas emissions, considering they put all these new vehicles on the road. And it just goes to show that they're the biggest hypocrites and polluters out there. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss the other side of the story in Canadian news that you're just not going to find anywhere else.